Hi there, today I thought I'd bring you another video. This is gonna be a really short and quick tutorial on how to trim bangs on your wigs. So most wigs, even um, when they have more blunt bangs, come with a four inch bang or four and a half inches to accommodate different people have different size foreheads, which means you almost always have to trim off a little bit to make sure that they're not um, in your eyes. This wig happens to be more of a side swept bang and I trimmed it once before, but now I wanna have it have kind of wispy straight bangs. So, you get to come along for the ride. What you're going to need is of course, scissors. The sharper the better, so the good pair of scissors from your house, or if you go to Sally's, they make specific hair cutting scissors that would be great. And you're going to need something to pin up the sides of your wig with. Because the most important thing is to keep a few side pieces long so that it doesn't look weird. So I'm gonna come in a little closer so you can see um, these bangs and what we have going on. So we're going to portion out um, kind of a triangle shape and that's what I'm going to be cutting. And these are the side pieces I'm going to try to leave. So I'm going to pin the sides back. And you can always tr trim more later, but you can't ever put it back. So unlike human hair, these will not grow back. So you want to be sure to leave good a bit on the side and not to cut too, too short. So I want these right at my eyebrow. So I'm going to make sure that my wig is even with my hairline or slightly below. Because as you wear a wig throughout the day, sometimes it pulls back a little and you don't want those bangs to suddenly be up here like little kid. So put it right at your hairline and if you can pin it, mine happens to have clips. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and clip the clips to make sure that my wig stays in place. And those are just wig clips that I sewed in myself. So. These are not going to be super blunt bangs. That's a different process and a little more difficult. And of course you can always take your wigs to a hair salon that does extensions and they will know how to cut bangs into wigs. We're going to twist and then I'm going to cut probably right there just to be safe. And you don't want to pull it super tight because that's not how your wig lays. So Keep it how it is, and then give it a trim. So, that's how much came off. And you could, if you wanted, leave it like that, which I might, because it's not too bad, but I still feel a little bit too long right there and that kind of bothers me but you can also curl these very on very low heat um, to get them to curve I'm going to twist it again and then do a little bit of up and down um, or point cutting where you go the same verticalness as the hair And this just kind of gives you a feathery look. See, over here I think there's just a little bit more than I want. So we're gonna do the best little amount. And that's just a teeny amount. 
slow and steady wins the race because I have destroyed many a wig and this is an old wig that I didn't pay very much for in the first place but if I had just bought you know a Renee of Paris $300 wig or something I'm not gonna cut that myself I'm gonna take that to the wig store or a salon where they can cut it for me so I'm kind of liking that we're gonna unpin the sides and see how it looks pretty cute let me put my glasses on so I can actually see so overall I think that's pretty cute pretty nice and It has been trained to part to the side, so if you take a little bit of water, the, the hairs will learn to stay forward. But all in all, pretty cute, especially for the summer where you want something a little different. And if you have any other tutorials you wanted to see, just leave me a comment below and I will try to see if I can do it for you. I think these came out pretty well. Um, you kind of want to live with it for a day. If this was too long, I would wear it a little bit and then go back and trim it. Because if you get too excited with your trimming, you'll end up with things up here. So just remember to do a little bit at a time and then live with it for a little bit. So as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.